The diagram shows a trapezium ABCD with AB parallel to DC. So we've got a trapezium ABCD. AB is parallel to DC. AD is x centimetres. AD is x centimetres. AB is x plus 10. AB is x plus 10. And CD is x plus 7. The area of this trapezium or the trapezium is 50 centimetres squared. We have to show that 2x squared plus 17 minus 100 is equal to 0 and calculate the perimeter of the trapezium. So the way to start with this obviously is to use this piece of information here that the area of the trapezium is 50 centimetres squared. So if we call that A, we call that B and this is the vertical height and we call that H normally, the area of a trapezium is going to be AB times H over 2. And that information is given on the formula sheet for IGCSC. So using the information we have in the question, X plus 7 plus X plus 10 times the height, so all of that times the height, times X, all divided by 2 must be equal to 50. So multiplying the 2 up here and getting 50, and then saying that x plus x is 2x and 7 plus 10 is 17, we get 2x plus 17 times x is equal to 100. Expanding this bracket here, we're going to have 2x times x, which gives me 2x squared. 17 times x, which gives me 17x, is equal to 100. Minus 100 from both sides, we're going to get 2x squared plus 17x minus 100 is equal to 0, as required. Okay, so we've got this information. We now have to calculate the perimeter of the trapezium. In order to do that, we need to go to find the value of x. So that means, well, first of all, we need to solve this quadratic equation. So, first we must solve the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 17x minus 100 is equal to 0. It does factorise, but in the exam, if it doesn't factorise, use the quadratic formula. We're going to use factorisation. So the product is 2 times minus 100. That's equal to minus 200. And the sum is 17, the middle term here. We want two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get minus 200 and a product a sum of when we add those two numbers we get 17 one must be positive one must be negative so eventually you'll come up with minus 8 times 25 just check that minus 8 times 25 makes minus 200 minus 8 plus 25 makes 17 now we take the quadratic and rewrite it so we've got 2x squared minus 8x plus 25x minus 100 is equal to zero. We now group the first two terms together and so therefore we're going to take out 2x and then we'll get like x minus 4. Just check that 2x times x gives me 2x squared. 2x times minus 4 gives me minus 8x. We now bring down the plus sign. We take out a common factor of 25 and we now get uh, x minus 4 which is equal to 0. Just say that 25x, 25 times minus 4 gives me minus 100. So if we do this here and here, you get the same thing. So this can now come out as a common factor. So we get x minus 4, and we're left with 2x plus 25 is equal to 0. So either x minus 4 is equal to 0, which gives x is 4 centimetres. That's a reasonable answer. Or 2x plus 5 is equal to 0, which means that 2x is minus 25, x is minus 25 over 2, and this is not possible in our situation because we can't have a negative length. So, going back to our diagram, we have to calculate the perimeter. So the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside of the shape. However, we don't have this side here, but if we drop this down, and we know that this is 4, and this will be 11, 4 plus 7, and this will be 14, then we know that this length here will be 14 minus 11 which is equal to 3 so what we got here is a 3 4 5 triangle or we can work out cb by using pythagoras square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared which is equal to square root of 25 which is 5 centimeters so this length here is 5 centimeters so the perimeter will be 
14 plus 5 plus 11 plus 4 so 14 plus 5 plus 11 plus 4 will make 34 centimetres. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to form and solve a quadratic equation for using a the length of a trapezium and then using that information to calculate the perimeter. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.